White Boy Rick, the reconnaissance continues. This was a film based on a true story about this 14-year-old kid who kind of becomes a drug kingpin and um, also an FBI informant. I didn't, I'd never heard of this story, so the trailers looked pretty interesting. It had Matthew McConaughey, which I've really been liking. I've always liked that Matthew McConaughey. Before he even had his McConaughey, I liked him for what he was. Um, but the movie was interesting. He plays the boy's dad. The kid that plays this boy, I don't I don't know what his name is. He's a newcomer. He's really good in the movie. Um, actually, both of the kid actors are pretty dang good in this film. Because he has a sister, too. And she's addicted to cocaine. And the main problem I have with this film was the pacing. The pacing was just kind of all over the place. You know, you wanted to follow the rise and fall of this kid. And you do, essentially. But... It's just, there's, it's just all over the place. Like midway through the movie, it's just, it doesn't even feel like he started his rise yet. Um, and then some stuff feels rushed and other seems too long. And you spend stuff on side stories that I don't even know what the point of it was. And it just wasn't as good as something like Blow, which is what I was expecting from this. Um, it was just boring a lot of times. I will say the performances from McConaughey were fantastic. Every time he's in the, in the scene, he steals it. Um, the two kid actors were good. There was moments where I was like, holy crap, that's hardcore. Um, at one point in time, he, he gets shot, which is pretty hardcore. Um, and it was interesting learning about the story, the stuff at the end where they, you know, you see what happens to the kid afterwards was interesting. But overall, like I said, the pacing kind of hurt it for me. It was boring. It's not one of the movies you're going to want to watch over and over and over again um, because of the pacing really hurts the film. Um, there are some scenes, too, that I felt like were just tacked on there for some reason. Like, I don't know, like they were trying to say a message or something. And then there was some stuff that this family does that, I, I don't know. I just don't know if if it was kind of like uh, some stuff was made up for cinematic farms or this was a real true telling because, you know, it's just based on a true story. So, anyways, Matthew McConaughey was great as always. The two kid actors were pretty good. It is a decent story if you're interested in this stuff. It takes place in Detroit through like the mid 80s. So, um, if you're interested in the rise and fall of a 14 year old kid as a drug lord, this might be your cup of tea. Otherwise, I thought it was pretty meh. I think I'm going to give White Boy Rick a three out of five. Peace out.